Next time you're in London looking for an interesting food experience, visit the Borough Market. It has the largest collection of outdoor food stands in the city. It's kind of an outdoor indoor experience actually with a high ceiling but a roof overhead and open walls so you have plenty of fresh air. They've got over a hundred food stalls here and so you might consider taking a good walk through the market first before you stop at any one booth to buy something to eat and take a good look around. If you can stand all the temptation and suspense and just keep walking, be patient, have fun, build up an appetite, maybe do a little snacking on some free samples. Yeah, you'll run into lots of that along the way. And then double back and make your choice. There's a huge variety on offer. You've got anything from your fresh greens and fruits and meats and cold cuts and cheeses to delicious lunch, hot prepared pastas, Indian, Egyptian, sandwiches, sausage, paella, fish, all kinds of foods for every taste. The market includes several restaurants where you can sit down and have a meal or a glass of wine, coffee shops and cafes, and there's a couple restaurants upstairs. But the vast majority of customers just get their food from the booths and eat it while standing and holding it, or for takeout. In my case, I'm a sucker for pasta, so after looking all around, I came back to this stall, which has fresh pasta homemade noodles at a very fair price and a good variety and of course very quick service. Stand up while you're eating it like everybody here there's really not much in the way of tables and chairs at the borough market so you just stand on the spot and eat it down. The market is a place for fast high quality food, a semi-industrial feeling with the metal and glass canopy and there's a overhead train rumbling by. It's a commuter train and the London Bridge tube station is right nearby, so it's convenient to get here by tube. One minor possible problem for some visitors is the location because the borough market is not really in the center of town. It's not in Mayfair or Soho or anything like that. It's two miles from Trafalgar Square. And so you can easily get here either by bus, by tube, you can take a taxi. Or perhaps the nicest way is simply walk. You can walk along the south bank. There's a wonderful promenade, and we'll be showing you more of that promenade at the end as we leave walking back to the center. Because the market is a little bit out of the way, it is not that widely known by visitors. Most tourists in London only have two or three days, maybe four days, to look around and see all the highlights, go to the museums, go to the big shops in the the major streets and the piazzas. But when you've seen all of that and you want to see something extra special, be sure to just head out to the Borough Market. Very easy to find it. It's a great place for people watching and appreciating all the different kinds of foods, the colors, the shapes, the sounds of the marketplace, and just hanging out and spending some quality time. As you look around at the customers here, you can tell they're mostly local. and. So that makes it a greater experience for the visitor to come here and get away from the main tourist highlights of the city and see something a little bit more authentic with this great food as a payoff. There's been some kind of a food market on this location for about 800 years because it's strategically right next to London Bridge, which has been there for over a thousand years. And then by 1756, the market as we see it today began to take shape. That's the official beginnings of the borough market. And naturally it's grown and changed tremendously over time. And it's still one of the most vital and busy and active places in town to get some food. The market is open daily except for Sunday. And however, on Monday and Tuesday, it's really just serving lunch. You don't find the big variety of foods. So the best times to come are Wednesdays through Saturday, and then it's open from 10 a.m. till 5. On Saturdays, they open early at 8 a.m., so you want to come during that period. If you come right at the lunch hour in the busy season, it might get crowded, so watch out for that. You might want to come in slightly off hours, or if you're in the off season, no problem, come anytime. Of course, you won't be the only tourist here, as witnessed by comments on TripAdvisor, there's been nearly 5,000 comments and just about every one of them calls it excellent or very good. 
For example, here's a couple of comments. If you could go somewhere every day to get your fix of vibrancy, then this is it. It's full of young and old and is definitely the place to be. I found the stall holders to be friendly and fun. We spent two hours here and loved every minute. A must, must location to visit. So much variety, it allows you to go outside your comfort zone. It's just amazing. Well, the overall score is four and a half stars out of five from TripAdvisor. With all of those comments, you can count on it as a sure thing. TripAdvisor even has it listed among the top 15 things to do while you're in London. The market is so picturesque that it's been featured in some major Hollywood movies, including Bridget Jones' Diary and Harry Potter. Even though most visitors to London, frankly, don't get here, you really should. After sampling so many different kinds of foods, it would be good for you to walk it off, and the best way is take a stroll along the river. You'll be tempted by the pubs and other attractions along the way. It's a beautiful promenade. It's been developed in recent years. You'll probably see street performers along the way, like this bubble guy. You walk past several bridges. There's lots of people out, and it's a friendly, safe place to stroll. No traffic, no cars to run you down. And plus, you'll find some more pubs and cafes along the way and various kinds of shops. One of the major attractions you'll pass by on the Riverwalk is the Tate Modern. It's the Museum of Contemporary and Modern Art, and it really is a great sight to see. They're in the midst of expanding the museum right now, but it's still in full operation, and it's free except for special exhibits. But there are hundreds of major paintings and sculptures in the main gallery rooms, and that's all free. You'll also pass the Royal Festival Hall where they have orchestral concerts and other cultural performances in the evening. You can easily take your time and stroll from the Borough Market along the river, over the bridge, over to Trafalgar Square in an easy, casual hour. Or you could take a taxi, but you might get stuck in the normal traffic congestion. You can choose from several different bridges to bring you back across the river, but one of the nicer ones is the Golden Jubilee. It's a footbridge that leads over to the Charing Cross train station. And from there, it's a couple blocks over to Trafalgar Square, back to the center of London. You can find many more movies about London on our YouTube channel and our website.